Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a sci-fi and romance movie from 2023 called If You Were the Last. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie begins with two adults, a man and a woman, playing chess and debating about government spending. They argue about how a lot of money was used to save one particular individual. The man believes it was worth it because saving such an important figure united people, but the woman disagrees. She thinks the plan might have failed and all the money spent would have gone to waste. It turns out they are both stuck in space. The woman believes they shouldn't just sit around and wait to be saved. In the next scene, we see them doing some daily chores. The man, named Adam, is in the field inside the spacecraft taking care of the plants. When he finishes, he goes to the kitchen to meet the woman, named Jane, who is making breakfast. He gives her an update on the plants he is working on. Later in the day, we see them resting in front of a television, debating which movie to watch. Once they decide, they start watching. In another scene, Jane is seen repairing a damaged system that caused them to be stuck in the orbit of Jupiter. After attempting the repair, she tries it out, but it shows an error. She also tries the communication mic to connect with Earth, but it doesn't work. In another scene, we see them preparing for a dance. Adam picks the song and they dance joyfully. After the dance, while they are stretching, Jane calls Adam out on something. She mentions seeing some milky goop on the floor, referring to his semen. Adam, feeling a bit embarrassed, says he thought he cleaned it all up and apologizes. Then Adam suggests they should have intimacy to ease the stress instead of self-pleasure. Jane thinks it's not a good idea. While Adam is trying to convince Jane, he is stretching her leg and discovers a wound on her leg. He decides to take her to the medical ward to get the wound treated. While treating her wound, they discuss the possibility of getting intimate, but Jane was still reluctant. Jane noted that if they start banging, they might get attracted to each other and fall in love. Adam pointed out that their situation is different and they can handle it without connecting emotionally. Jane gave another reason why she thinks they shouldn't do it. She and Adam were married. Adam said they are stuck in space and only have each other. Jane insisted she would work on the engine until it worked. But Adam claimed there are millions of connections to make to get the engine to work, which is almost impossible. After the debate, they went to watch a movie. Jane suggested they watch a horror movie that Adam hadn't seen yet. He decided to give it a try. It turns out the movie was too much for him and he ran off to sleep. Later, while Jane was asleep, Adam came to her scared and wanted to sleep in her room and she agreed. In the morning, they had a weird moment because of their proximity and then went out to start the work for the day. After the morning chores, they started dancing. While dancing, Jane tells Adam another reason why she can't do it. She doesn't have birth control. In the next scene, Adam tells Jane that it wouldn't be a bad idea if she got pregnant and that she might have been made sterile by the radiation in space. The sterile comment made her angry and she stormed off. While Jane was away, she spoke with her skull doll about her frustration. After a while, she decided to play some music. She inserted the disc, but it didn't work. Out of frustration, she called out to Adam. When Adam came, he checked the device and told her that the file for her music had been damaged. Adam told her that it couldn't be fixed. Jane broke down crying because that was the only song she could listen to on the spaceship. Adam tried to calm her down by singing her favorite song and encouraged her to sing along, which made her feel a little better. The next day, they are seen doing their normal chores. When they were done, Jane made Adam's favorite cookies as a surprise. Feeling emotional about the gesture, Adam hugged her, thanking her for the gesture. Later in the day, while Jane was working on the engine, Adam came in to see her. He looked sad. He then took her to where his goat was. The goat was dead. Jane advised that they take the goat out of there. Next, we see the two of them at the dining table with the meat of the goat in front of them. Adam was sorry to eat the goat's meat, but Jane told him that they had no choice because they were running out of food. At night, while Jane was sleeping, she felt pain in her leg and discovered the wound was getting worse. Adam came and gave her the last antibiotic so she could feel better. The two of them lay on their backs and Jane starts being honest about the possibility of giving in to intimacy. She said she was attracted to him and asked if he was too. He said he was also attracted to her and they decided to do it. She also noted that she worried he might not meet her sexual needs and might not be able to satisfy her. Adam laughed and assured her that they would work on it, promising her on his delicious dead goat. They decided to do it immediately, but after considering it, Jane suggested they wait until the next day because she wanted to do some hygiene work on herself. The next morning, they woke up and did their usual chores, such as cooking, working out, and checking the engine. While working on the engine, Jane tried it out to see if there were any changes. Unfortunately, the system said there was no communication. Immediately, the system said that navigation had been established, surprising both of them. 
Jane said that they would be able to get to Earth without the communication system and that the navigation established was enough to get them home. Adam asked how long it would take before they got home, and she said three weeks. Adam looked down, thinking that was it, but she stood up and kissed him, and they did the deed. Over the next couple of days, they went on a wild escapade during their journey to Earth. They had lovely moments, sitting together, talking, laughing, and hugging. Eventually, they got into Earth's proximity and entered Earth's gravity. They were pulled in, their spaceship survived, and they maintained it. We then see the two of them at a press conference being questioned by the press. They asked about their third astronaut. Despite Jane hurting the astronaut for attacking Adam, she claimed that the astronaut died in her sleep. Adam's wife showed up at the press conference and left with him, leaving Jane alone there. It turns out Adam's wife is now a governor. In the next scene, Jane is taken to the hospital and her wound is treated. Her husband Tom arrived and they hugged. She asked him if he had moved on and he said he didn't leave her. She asked why and he explained that he was committed to her and decided to be patient. We then see Adam and his wife discussing. She explained how everything happened and how she became the governor. Next, we see Jane and Adam giving a review of what happened to them while in the spacecraft to a board member. After they were done, Jane, her husband, Adam, and his wife, Savannah, met in the lobby to process their discharge forms. Tom and Savannah went to process the discharge forms while Adam and Jane talked. Adam asked her if she could be part of his life. She said no, that she was with her husband now and that what happened up there wasn't real. They parted ways afterward. We then see Adam and Savannah at a fundraiser event. Adam tries to connect with the sponsors, talking to them about his experience. On the other hand, we see Jane picking an egg from the fridge and remembering their experiences in space. She noticed her husband was ignoring a call from a lady named Amber. She later asked him if he could try dancing with her. Tom said he had bad feet and couldn't. Then he received another message from Amber saying they should talk. Jane saw it and told him that he should talk to her and explain the situation. After Jane went on a rant, she confessed that she slept with Adam, which broke her husband. In the next scene, Adam tells his wife about what happened between him and Jane, and she understands. She suggested he go to the next event organized by the president. At the event, Savannah and Adam saw Jane. Savannah asked where her husband was, and Jane said they were separating, and he didn't come with her to the event. Later, the president requested that Adam and Jane dance for the guests, and they did. After the event, when Adam and Savannah were leaving, Adam told her that he couldn't continue with her. She felt sad, hugged him, and left. Adam went back to Jane. Jane, surprised and happy, danced with him. The movie ended with Jane and Adam in a deserted area, camping and having the time of their lives. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.